in this video, I'm gonna share with you an upcoming project that I think I might take on, uh, the why of the project and the how of it as well. So those of you who have seen my videos in the past might know that I like to take on some uh, memory projects that are not only about memory training, but also actually applying the techniques that I have. So past examples include uh, using memory techniques to get to a black belt in Taekwondo uh, in three years. So that was uh, both in physical movement and in terminology uh, and learning a thousand numbers, the square of the number. So um, the square of every number up to a thousand. I've decided I need a new one and I'm after one that's a little bit challenging. And I've been tossing this up for a while and I've decided to, I think I'm gonna memorize a dictionary. Uh, why? Why would you memorize a dictionary? Uh, well, I can. No, that's not the real reason. The reason is I am 45. I'm getting closer to 50 every day and I wanna remain sharp. And I hate that feeling where you've got a word at the tip of your tongue in the, you know, in the forefront of your mind and you can't place, quite place your finger on it. So I want to rid myself of that as much as possible. I'm also fairly dyslexic. And so while Word is a wonderful machine that fixes all my spelling errors, uh, sometimes I want to be able to spell the words too. So I want to um, not only learn new words, but I want to be able to spell them. And of course the biggie is I want to increase my vocabulary. I love learning and it seems like a really big, chewy um, learning challenge. So they're the reasons. How am I gonna do it? I've got an idea at this stage uh, and this is normally how I work through new big learning projects. I go, okay, there's this thing I wanna learn and then I start to think about how I might use the skills I have to break that down into how I remember it. So uh, at this stage, I'm pretty comfortable that it's gonna have memory palaces in it, a lot of them. Uh, some of them I might make specifically for the project and some of them might be places that I already know. I will obviously apply the usual techniques that we're talking about in all these videos. Um, and I also wanna know, I wanna know the page numbers and I wanna know where it is on the page. And that's just really a bit random, I, I realise that, because what if I picked up a different dictionary? But really, it's because it doesn't take very much effort to add those extra bits of detail once you're already going to the effort of remembering it anyway. Uh, and it's a nice little tool for if you're ever stuck in a really boring place and you need to entertain your brain for hours on end. Um, if it's stored well in memory palaces and all numbered and labelled, then it's a really nice kind of therapeutic, as strange as it sounds, activity to do. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. There's lots of links in the description below that might help you along with one to my cram school that's coming up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and that way you'll know when my new videos come out.